Cats get two different types of mange, um, and when we talk about that, uh, it's usually caused by a mite. So uh, mange mites in cats uh, are referred to as either a walking dandruff is one type of mite or scabies. Uh, they're both mites are microscopic. You really need to have a microscope to see them, although this walking dandruff is, uh, if you're lucky enough to have a black cat, and you can actually see the little specks of dandruff walking around, you can pretty well diagnose that on your own. Otherwise, a skin scraping is necessary to, to, to be taken, and that needs to be done at, your, at, at an office, or, or if I come to your house, we can do that at home. Many times the mites will start around their ears, the, the ear tips, the margins of the ears, uh, or around the eyes, um, and just taking a small scraping and looking under the microscope, they're pretty easy to identify. Not all the time are they clear that you see that, even though it might look like a mange uh, condition where it's kind of moth-eaten, the cat it might start around the ears, then go further on the face, around the neck, and then it can go all over the body. And then if you start getting little bites, then you probably understand that it's more than just on the cat. Um, so it can be a real serious problem. Although they won't live on people, they will live, the whole life cycle will be on the cat. Um, but it's usually this mothy period uh, appearance where the cat is losing some hair. Uh, it can get red and raw and ulcerated from them scratching and digging at it. Some, some of the uh, mites are more uh, pruritic or mean, more itchy, uh, and then some conditions aren't. Uh, so it varies a little bit. But so there's basically those two types of mites in cats. Uh, and strictly, they, they do live their whole life cycle on the cat.